Yeah, it's weird because, you know, obviously a few days ago we were in Qatar and we were part of a World Cup and, you know, I've come home now and, you know, I've a bit of jet lag, been watching some of the games um, throughout the night um, and it just seems like you're just watching another football game but, you know, two days ago we were a part of that. So that's just the way it is, uh, you know, full focus is now obviously coming back to the club. You know, we don't have much time to, to rest. And, uh, yeah, it's business as usual. Uh, it's sort of the way it is in football. Saunders. How's it going? How are you, mate? How's Qatar? It's good, mate. Good. How are you? Enjoy it. Good yeah. to see you again. Well you done. Too. Fucking hell, you're famous now, eh? <laughs> nah. All over the world, eh? Not well at done. all. Let's do it. Hey? Jet lag? I'm right. <laughs> Last night I slept good the other night. How are you? I'm done these fucks. Bad. You trained on Tuesday. <laughs> you did everything? Yeah, freak. Come on, boys, show some emotion. Come on. <laughs> the Australian hero, man. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Come on, Tyrese. Yes, brother. Come on, camera. Oh, there you go. How are you, bro? You good? You good? Yeah, you? Good to see you. <laughs> you too, bro. Good? Good to see you. Florin, how are you, bro? Congratulations. Thanks. Good yourself? Hi, bro. Good. How are you? Good yourself? Good. How's everything? Yeah. Much difference? Yeah, you'll see. You'll see how it goes. See how it is. I've always said I love playing for the national team, um, not just because I'm representing the country. Um, it's also because we've got a great team, a great squad, a great group of people. So I'll always uh, put my hand up to, to be a part of it. Lecky. Yes, brother. How does it feel to be the face of Australia now? <laughs> still, the same, still the same guy. No, brother. Yes, brother. Now it's different. What did you think when you scored the goal against them? Now? What did I think? He knows what I, I thought. I told him he's going to crush it before he went there. I said, he's going to be the best guy, the best player for Australia. I told him before he went. You could see it during, for us, those, those six games, the way he was performing, you, you knew he was going to, he was going to do that. Was it your first goal in yeah. like a World Cup? Fuck. The goal against Denmark was obviously, you know, amazing. Before I got the ball, I can't remember too much. I think someone played it forward. Juki dropped it off, laid it off. Someone played it out to Riley and then he slipped me through. I wanted to check inside. Defender read it and then I had to go back outside. And then yeah, it went through the legs. I was in perfect line to see that it was rolling in the bottom corner. in the chest a few times. The boys got around it. I think I got smacked on the head about a hundred times in the huddle. And then, yeah, uh, I was just buzzing, I guess. Did you uh, get any tops while you were over there at the tournament? <laughs> I did get a top. I had doping after the, the France game and um, one of their staff members came in. Red light. Red light. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not complaining about that. Where is it now? Yeah, it's good to have a part. What am I gonna do? Hang it up? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Uh, from the World Cup, a couple of jerseys. Denmark, so that's obviously the Denmark top that I scored the goal in. Tunisia, all the boys' signatures on it. This top. <laughs> Mbappe, which is pretty cool because, you know, he's probably the biggest player for them at the moment and almost up there with the best players in the world. <laughs> Basically how I got into football was, you know, at primary school, kicking around at recess and lunch, and, and then um, 
between a friend who had played at a local club, um, I started playing as well. So that's sort of how it kicked off. This is uh, my first club I played at when I was 11 years old, Bremen Stallions. I played all my juniors there and I went to Berlin. My dad used to get home um, from work. He'd work all day, he was a carpenter, and then basically shower and get in the car and, and, and take me to training. We train, I think, three, four times a week. You know, we we lived an hour away from the, the training session. Back then, I didn't know how much of an effort it would have been. That's where it all started. That's where I played my senior football. And, and from there, that's when I, I, I got to Adelaide United. Well, it's a cold, wet night in South Australia. The time in Adelaide was, was amazing. And I was young and just happy to be a part of you know, an A-League team and, and, and have that opportunity. He's drifted inside. This is a good run by Leckie. Nice and positive. Within three, four weeks, I was in the squad. It was my second appearance. I scored against North, North Queensland Fury. Oh, he could be in here. Maybe he'll go on his own. This is super stuff. That's a terrific finish by Matthew Leckie. His first A-League goal. Within you know, a month, I was I was in the, in the lineup. It drops for Leckie. Still Leckie! After the first season, Bruce Mitchell Glover, the German team who I, I ended up going to, was interested and didn't quite work out. So I, I stayed the following season to, to see out the two year deal that I had. Matthew Lecky for Adelaide United. I actually got injured that, that season and tore my medial ligament. Definitely remember the tackle. It was uh, another derby, always a big lead up to the games. I already had uh, slight issues with my knee, so I, ha I had it strapped for the game. A blatant foul by Leckie, chopping Robbie Cruz to the floor. Someone played me a through ball and, you know, I was running onto it towards the byline and sort of come across and hit my knee. Well, that is a real worry. So he's got that uh, left knee heavily strapped. Oh, that was kicked in right on it. You know, there was a lot of controversy on if it was meant or not. I don't think any player looks to injure a player. I actually got a phone call the next few days from Ernie Merrick to apologise and just to, to clarify that there was no intention to go out there and you know, sort of injure me. I missed most of the season. Um, I came back in the elimination final. I actually scored and that was my, my last game, but I had already, I already knew I was, I was leaving to Germany. Cassio, chance saved by Moss and then in Just over 20 minutes to go, and Matthew Leckie has a farewell goal in front of his adoring fans. Leckie, you know, is a football player. Uh, look, I may be biased, but I think he's uh, definitely one of the best players in the league. Uh, you know, for, for us, he's definitely there. He's our leader. Um, you know, last several games, he's moved to the next level. Uh, and, you know, just keep wondering how many levels has he got in, you know, and uh, if, he, if he can lift another little level up, I mean, that, that would definitely be one of the best players in, in the A-League's history. To know that he's around, um, you know, harassing and, and really bullying some defenders um, is only great for us going forward as the style that we want to play, and um, he's a player that can play across, across the front third, and, and even in midfield he's shown that. So it's, it's, a, it's a credit to play with him. And, um, yeah, I'm sure he's enjoying it. And he's, like I said, he's in a purple patch at the moment and hopefully he continues that. So obviously finished on top last year, but lost the grand final. What will it take to take the next step in the championship this year? Lucky to be healthy before the grand final because he was sick last year. I'm asking about that. That could be the difference. Lucky being healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, give me compliments. It's hard to get one out of you. I don't know if he's blaming you for losing the grand final. Or... <laughs> so he's not. No, he asked what would be the difference this year. I said, well, you were sick last year, weren't you? No one knows about you being sick as a dog day before the grand final. Oh, well. I'm being serious. Ask him about it. Socceroo Matt Leckie playing his first game in Australia since February 2011. Readjusting back to come to the A League was difficult at the start just because it was always going to take a bit of time to understand the players that you play with and, and the system that we play. Um, and then on top of that, obviously, you know, bringing my whole family over, starting from scratch in a tough time during COVID as well. It, was, uh, it wasn't really 
you know, quickly settled. It, it took a, a long time to, to get everything right. Obviously now, right now, I've been fortunate enough to, to be able to be, stay healthy for the, the whole season and, and play consistently. Um, and that's, you know, a strong part of, you know, building form and, and confidence. It's like low. Yeah, where? Like here. Okay, good go straight in. Mac is going to be in there with, with Jamie and get checked out inside. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Don't think so. For Miami. Yeah. Yeah. I was reaching for the ball and I just felt it pinch a little bit. Probably trying to see if we can get him a scan. If we get one today, that'd be good because given this game coming up pretty quickly, we'll need to know sooner rather than later. So, yeah, we'll just get a bit more information and then try to make a call from there. It could be bad, it could be not bad, it could just be cramped, like a, but I did feel something when I, when I stretched immediately. And now it's a bit sore, so, I mean, I've still got a bit of power, but there's definitely something that I've done. One touch only. Hey, Rado. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Congratulations. You good? Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. Lucky about Lecky, huh? I mean, you know, World Cup. Yeah. Every play, played every game, and every minute. you know, maybe we should have rested him somewhere. But you know, he's, he's such a machine. You know, he trained unbelievably well. Every training. I'm not 100% sure what the, uh, the name of the injury is, but uh, it's not good, uh, unfortunately, and he's going to be out for several weeks. That's what I know. But yeah, we'll, we'll just try to play our normal game and uh, you know see, see how we can deal with him. Let's go, 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 go! Bravo! Bring it in, boys, bring it in. OK, boys. Sometimes in life, we forget what makes us who we really are. So today, let's not forget where we come from. Let's not forget all the setbacks and challenges that you had to overcome to get where you are now. Let's not forget the people that inspire us to work hard. Let our performance say thank you to all these important people in our lives. Let our performance inspire others. Good luck. Come on, let's go. It's a warm and humid afternoon for these two sides. Melbourne City looking to bounce back from the Derby defeat, but standing in their way, a Sydney FC side rejuvenated in the last month, looking to make it five without defeat. And plenty of pride on the line, as well as a pride celebration for these two teams. Interesting part of the season. City coming off their loss last week and hitting Sydney, who are heading upwards. They can manage to win away from home here today. It compacts the season. And the questions about Matt Leckie, what a massive loss he is. Step up, step up. Burgess loses out to Geordie Boss. All wide immediately for Baron Gate. Turns inside, crosses the dancing hand, and the opening goal. Jamie McLaren coming through to hit that near post with a beautiful glancing header. 
as he marches toward a fourth Thomas! consecutive A-League golden boot. Keep the ball central! They are pressing for fullback! There will be no third clean sheet of the season for Sydney bite, FC bite, today. Bite. Come on! Mind you, they can take hope from the fact that City have been conceding goals for fun. Possession into some air with Bratton. Looks up, big switch of play for Joe Lolly. Go, 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 all the way! Look out, Sydney FC, because he's lightning quick. And he's got plenty of support as well. Tilio is still going, it's opening up. Tilio hits it, oh, look at goal! Look out, Sydney FC indeed. That's what he needs, huh? That's what he needs. No Matt Lecky, no problem. Oh, but that's exactly what we said. In transition, we kill them. Marco! 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 When he inverts, you need to go, go inside, OK? You need to go inside when he inverts. Marco, keep going! Well, they have been involved in high-scoring matches. Melbourne City, 3-3 Adelaide, 6-1 MacArthur, 4-2 Perth. And then that 3-2 loss. On. To Melbourne victory, which clearly stung. That's probably did the first loss of the season to Sydney. Come out, come out. Lolly. Drives the ball in. It was a great ball bouncing around. And somehow, Geordie Boss gets it clear. They're not aggressive enough in defending. It's not aggressive enough. Well, half-hearted calls for a handball on Jordy Boss there. That's a good ball in from Burgess. And again, Sydney. Tilo, we need you defensively. Follow him. Caballo just couldn't take it with him. Early cross, though, is a good one towards Burgess. Fucking Tills need to mark him. And it's another chance for Sydney to get back in this contest. Tills, goal side. Tilio, goal side. Fuck me, drunk. It's been a terrific opening half hour, Robbie. A lot of attacking football. Some good quality on show. And that header, which was a presentable one. Oh, as here comes Robert Mack. Now Burgess is looking to arrive. Mack, he'll get a shot off here. And he scores. And Sydney are on the scoreboard. And it was a clinical finish by Robert Mack for his fifth of the campaign. Tills. That's, a, that's all right. What we want from you, just stay goal side between Talbot and this guy. Okay? That's it. I'll get back to you yeah. and he's there. You can't expect me to just go like that. He's not gonna, I'm just going to keep yeah. running. Just be more goal side, that's all. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Talbot! Okay. We need to keep the ball longer! Keep the ball longer in their half! Three different goal scorers from three. Pedigree attacking elements on the pitch. Oh my God, we need to get better defensively, full stop. Keep the ball now, keep it! Keep the ball! Oh my God. Fucking outside of your feet. Oh my God. Three seconds, our attacks last three seconds. We've had Excellent chances about every three minutes. And there might be another one here for Tilio. Accelerates his second. Come on! And Jerry yes! McLaren restores City's two goal cushion. I'm more aggressive. I'm a more aggressive. Barely 90 seconds after it was halved. But Ryan Grant with a really poor option. And just as Sydney claw themselves back into the contest, they're back down again. 3-1 Melbourne City. A poacher without peer, Jamie McLaren. 18 goals this season. We are not aggressive enough. We are letting them come across and then they outnumber us. Sweet. Sweet. Oh. Lamb's ball, Gertz header. One minute to go and he's trying some... Unbelievable pass. Oh. Melbourne City will be very satisfied 
with their opening half of football here at Amy Park. Now, we just need to correct a few things, okay? We are winning 3-1. <coughs> we are not chasing the game. We need to keep the ball for as long as possible. But what we are doing is our attacks last five seconds, we give the ball to them. So make this priority number one. Keep the ball. When we slow things down, we slow it down. Okay? Good luck, second half. No changes to either side at half time. Sydney FC have plenty of work to do against a league leading Melbourne City. Press, press, Richard! Come, come, come! Oh, and the band putting yes! pressure on Redmayne. Deals with it. Yes, Richard! Cool enough, good with Brandt. And again! And again! And again! Yes! Goes down under the challenge. Bravo! Bravo! Of Van de Ven. Bravo! He says there was nothing in it. Wait, wait. No, 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 leave, leave him, leave him. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Just fuck off. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. Fucking blind guy. Don't worry, come on. Huh? Double drop. Never elbow. No, no, no. Yeah, maybe yeah, so for me, that contact isn't the case. It's a little bit of a Now, what does the referee, Sean Evans, make of this? He wants to have a word, and this could be trouble. It's a red yellow card. Focus, focus, up! Uh! It's gone! Yes, 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 again! Marco! That's your man! Doesn't matter how far! Go! Nunaresh. Thomas Lamb. Aiden O'Neill. Turn! Turn, Aiden! Turn! Valon Barisha. I don't know what this is. What is it? Hold Cut back, Berisha, great save, Redmayne. Oh, great save. Sydney facing defeat for the first time since that Diamante strike in Tasmania. And that 1-0 loss to Western United. Hey, get Scott Galloway for Tilio. Is there a late rally for Sydney FC? Kucharski turns to face. Van der Ven straight past him. Now into the area, brilliant run, side netting. Keep it in, keep it in. Go, keep go, it go. in. Look at the pace of Boss. Always oh, left Parsons on the ground. Boss still going. Oh, it's Parsons looks in real trouble there. Now is it shoulder? How are you feeling? You need your Friday. Okay, don't be a hero. Okay? Parsons wants to rejoin, so there's no damage done. Nunaresh. That's a good ball for Tilio against Wilkinson. Tilio still. Now Andrew. Yeah. Redmayne. Oh, fantastic stop. Andrew Redmayne keeping it respectable for Sydney FC. That's an excellent save from the Salmon Weagle. Marco Tilio, scorer for that wonderful second goal on 13 minutes, makes way. It's a second change for City and Galloway comes in. Is it a club? 
Well done, son. Well done. Now, Caceres. He's going inside every single time. On the charge, is there to be a consolation? That's a foul by Nunarash. Yellow card. Gives it the thumbs up, no complaints there. And yellow to Nuno. So that's another defender. And this is a very promising free kick. Diego Caballo hasn't scored for Sydney FC. Caballo against Glover. Oh, and it's sweetly struck. And into the top corner. Sydney may just have the faintest glimmer of hope. Everything that happened this week with the injuries and, and everything that happened, you know, we had a, a week, you know, from the hell, uh, and uh, that's why I'm even happier with, uh, with the result. Thank you, son. Well done. Well done. Much happier with second half, uh, although maybe we didn't score a goal, but we, we played much better from, from my point of view. How could we not as bad a week on the training track this week? Well, we can't get any worse, you know. Otherwise, uh, maybe some of the coaching staff will have to shave their legs and start, <laughs> start playing for us. Oh, jersey as well. There you go. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You look good, feel good, play good. All oh, done, ready for the weekend. I definitely have instincts. It's not even a thought. I know the keeper's off the line. It's just like this moment where I kind of feel like I can stand there and just go, this is me. <laughs> I had a good look at some of the data and we worked out Grace Mars glitch. I forgot my GPS and someone threw it to me. <laughs> and that's why I hit 33 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs>